What's going on, everyone? It is Monday, and I'm not sure what's going on with my hair, but uh, I don't know. I'm just happy I have something still up there. All right, we're going to get into um, maybe finishing. I don't know. We got to I got to worry about time here, but we might finish flowers for Algernon today, maybe tomorrow. And then hopefully by the time you leave here, you got a pretty decent rough draft of a paragraph, probably the intro, but I'll explain later why. Well, maybe you don't want to do the intro first, but <clears throat> first things first, let's talk about flowers for Algernon right here. I will make this big and me smaller, something like that. Hopefully we had a decent class discussion. I don't know. It's a Monday. So maybe uh, people forgot, but before we start, hang on. Um, yeah, things aren't going well for him, right? Hey, I got to give a shout out. Avery, he's in block D. He said, uh, Charlie's intelligence. It's kind of like that plot diagram thing, you know, kind of flat at first, then it goes up and now we're seeing it go down. So kind of brilliant, kind of brilliant right there. All right, so let's get it. This is going down, going down. Remember, he's going to kill somebody, right? Jeez, violence on a Monday morning. All right, let's go uh, with July 10th already. Seems like there's been quite a few days in between. I don't remember a July one yet. Oh, okay, July 7th, June. Okay, so not too bad, just three days later. But remember, he had said it's been getting harder and harder to write. In fact, like he's he actually is writing now, not typing. My landlady, Miss Flynn, is worried about me. She said she doesn't like loafers. Okay, so loafers are uh, definitely like a, an older type of shoe, but loafer is also um, another word for somebody who doesn't do anything. If I'm sick, it's one thing, but if I'm a loafer, that's another thing, and she won't have it. I told her I think I'm sick. So I don't know. It seems like this landlady has quite a bit of power over him, right? Now, she did bring him a meal one time. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe landlady... Or but maybe like caretaker, maybe maybe he's in a home for adults with special needs or something like that. I'm sure, they wouldn't call it that in the '60s. It's a different time. Moving down here, then I got the idea that I would only use the easy words instead of the long hard ones. That saves time. I put flowers on Algernon's grave, but once a week. All right. So now look at that. Looking back, the title was telling us that he was going to die the whole time. Flowers for Algernon, flowers on his grave. What do you think about that, huh? <clears throat> Miss Flynn thinks I'm crazy to put flowers on a mouse's grave. But then I told her that Algernon was special. July 14th, Sunday again. So it looks like, right? Was that not quite? No. So four days later. It's Sunday again. I don't have anything to do to keep me busy now because my television set is broke and I don't have any money to get it fixed. I think I lost this month's check from the lab. I don't remember. I get awful headaches. And aspirin doesn't help much. Miss Flynn knows I'm really sick and she feels sorry for me. She's a wonderful woman whenever someone is sick. Is she? That maybe is his memory. Because it seemed like she was, well, she doesn't like loafers. She said, if you're sick, that's one thing. So maybe maybe she's been taking care of him. Maybe she's actually pretty nice. Remember, she did, like I said, she brought him soup. Maybe she's nice. <clears throat> All right, this bigger, me smaller. July 22nd. Miss Flynn called a strange doctor to see me. She was afraid I was going to die. I told the doctor I wasn't too sick and that only I only forget sometimes. He asked me, did I have any friends or relatives? And I said, no. I don't have any. Oh, it's so sad, right? Where are the people from the lab, by the way? Shouldn't they be coming to check on him? I told him I had a friend called Algernon once, but he was a mouse. And we used to run races together. He looked at me kind of funny, like he thought I was crazy. He smiled when I told him I used to be a genius. He talked to me like I was a baby, and he winked at Miss Flynn. I got mad and chased him out because he was making fun of me the way they all used to. All right. So if I was looking for some foreshadowing to say that Charlie is going to go crazy on somebody, 
That's it. He just chased the doctor out of there. Next time, curtains. People don't say that anymore, right? It's curtains for you. I think I saw that in an old commercial, Bugs Bunny or something like that. Why? I didn't want to do that. Make this bigger. More reading. Let's go. Well, we can see. Let's see. Don't look at the last. Uh, we might not finish today, but don't look at the last last words there. Right here. July 24th. I have no more money. And Mrs. Flynn says, I got to go to work somewhere and pay the rent because I haven't paid for over two months. I don't know any work, but the job I used to have at Donegan's Plastic Box Company, I don't want to go back there because they all knew me when I was smart and maybe they'll laugh at me. But I don't know what else to do to get money. I mean, I don't know about you right now, but like I'm pretty upset at those people at the lab. It's all fine when they want to experiment on him. It's all fine. They're going to pay him. But now that he's like really struggling, they are nowhere to be seen. And his teacher, Miss Finian, Miss Finnegan, where's she at? Not a fan of her either. All right, make this bigger. And I do need to be mindful of the time. Maybe we'll break this up into two days. How about that? All right, July 25th. I was looking at some of my old progress reports, and it's very funny. I can't read what I wrote. I can make out some of the words, but they don't make sense. Ms. Kinian came to the door. Okay, okay, finally. But, she, but I said, go away. I don't want to see you. She cried, and I cried too. But I wouldn't let her in because I didn't want her to laugh at me. I told her I didn't like her anymore. I told her I didn't want to be smart anymore. That's not true. I still love her. And I still want to be smart, but I had to say so, so she'd go away. She gave Miss Flynn money to pay the rent. I don't want that. I got to get a job. All right. Feeling slightly better about Miss Kinian. Miss Kinian, that's her Monday morning, man. Brain is not firing at all. I didn't sleep well this weekend. I'll let you know. I didn't sleep well at all. Saturday and Sunday. I was like, I was like, I had adrenaline going. Because I hit 4,000 followers on Facebook. 4,000. And then, like this morning, I hit 14,000. Like, Facebook's been kind of going crazy. Like, I'll probably hit, I don't know, maybe 20,000 today. It's going crazy. Like, uh, almost 6,000 followers a day for the past two days. So, I've just been checking comments. It's been crazy. <clears throat> anyway, it's not YouTube, though. It doesn't pay like YouTube. But Facebook's all right. Um, but it's kind of, I don't put much effort into Facebook and then suddenly it's just like, Whoa, okay. Pay attention to Facebook a little more. Um, yeah, so let's, let's end it right there. Uh, we'll, we'll finish it up tomorrow. I don't see why we wouldn't, but today I think the uh, paragraph for your intro is a little bit more important than finishing flowers for Algernon. So I'm going to pause this, get the, uh, not pause. I'm going to, there's going to be another video. So I'm going to pause this just in case, like if you miss today or you want to go back and review, I'm not sure if anybody would, but if you want, I want just a paragraph for the intro to your essay to be on its own, um, own video and stuff like that. All right. Monday morning, mouth not working. Okay.